Educational театър води своето начало още през 70-те години на 20 век, като по-късно през 90-те години с допълнително се усъвършенства, вече се създава един много добре планиран и структуриран процес. Театърът в образованието има два основни акцента. Единият акцент е драма процесът, а другият е резултатът или така нареченият спектакъл. И двата са особено специфични. Драма процесът е предварително структуриран, има своите стъпки и заложени цели, но през цялото време търпи своите промени и се усъвършенства. Спектакълът от своя страна има предварително заложени очаквани резултати, но в своята същност от него не се очаква да бъде постигнат в същия си чесвит така, както е заложен в самото начало. Счита се, че драма процесът е по-важният и на него се отдава по-голямо значение, защото чрез него се добиват уменията и чрез него ние се развиваме и усъвършенстваме. Аз не мога да не отдам значение, разбира се, и на спектакълът, защото а, той като иде на крайен творчески продукт, а, затваря целият цикъл на процесът и следва да покажа, че всъщност предварително заложени, че цели са постигнати. Love is a beautiful thing. Something that happens only if it's real and full of passion and desire. It's the same in the theater. The best performances and the most fairy loves are those in which there is no fear and false, but there is a lot of devotion and a lot of emotions. Not everyone in love is smooth and perfect. Hearts also make mistakes. It's the same in the theater. Sometimes the actors forget their lines, but the important thing is how they will continue. Here comes the difference. Even the best play has an end. But love? Love can be eternal. What I really love about the theater is that it's always metaphorical. It's like going back being a kid again and we're all pretending that we are in a room. Sometimes when pretending really works, I find it much, much more pleasant and moving than watching something on a film. According to me, theater and the love is like a normal relationship where you're with someone, uh, you have to be the best version of yourself You have to enjoy yourself, you have to be supported for the other. Uh, there's really tight connection between uh, the actors and the act. Because everybody who's in the theater is some kind of artist who really love and enjoy doing this performance. As an artist, however, you may lose the thin line between theater and reality. When you play different characters, or some of them you play for too long, you might lose yourself and start wondering who you really are. But after all, we must remain true to ourselves and love ourselves as we are. I think that everyone can and does play a role in life, but in the theater, this is a teamwork only among good people. Be good and great. I kiss you. They are friends, which does not mean that they are not hurt or hurt. On the other hand, there is a smile, a smile, a smile, a smile, a smile, a smile, a smile. Но и упорит труд, взаимопомощ, емпатия, толерантност и уважение. I was playing in the school drama along with my best friend from my childhood. We were inseparable in school and even outside of school. And in the drama we had some arguing going on because we, we share different opinions. 
but overall we had a lot of funny moments together and uh, I really appreciate our moments. My friends support me and they will love to see me more often on stage. Uh, when my friends found our that I loved to participate in the student theater club, they were uh, they were happy and said that I love to something they now I love to do. Oh, uh, you may be a little scared, but when you go in front of audience, I think mm, it will be amazing. <laughs> amazing. It's typical and of course unique. Драма театърът помага на децата да използват английската реч, да презентират своите знания, да създават текстове на чужд език. Освен това, разбира се, те освояват и умения и компетентности, които развиват различен вид интелигентност. The first thing that comes to my head while writing a song is just one note. This note is like the mother of many other notes which appear in a matter of seconds. Then the shapes are coming and the landscapes. The words are coming last. And just like that, my thinking process over a song is done. Of course, in our native language, it's easier for me. When I uh, write or speak something in Bulgarian, I think of a lot more words and ways to express myself compared to the moments when I have to do it in English. Um, it depends on how many and what books a person reads, but according to me, it's easier in Bulgarian language. It definitely has to be in Bulgarian because this is my mother's tongue and this is the language that I grew up with and uh, the language that I'm more, more familiar with. So it's easier to write a script in Bulgarian of course but that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy writing the script in English. Mm, maybe uh, it's the opposite. I really enjoyed writing the script in English because we didn't know anything. At the beginning when we started uh, writing the script and uh, uh, planning about the uh, performance we had to sit in a big circle with only a paper and uh, a pen in our hand and it was really enjoying and really entertaining because there was a lot of laugh uh, laughter there was a lot of uh, good moments that we grew up together somehow and managed to cooperate with each other and to have fun with uh, some help of our mentors, of course, in the end we actually managed to do it. And uh, it was really funny, it was really a big moment in our drama club that, that I will never forget, actually. But yeah, it's definitely easier in Bulgarian, but more enjoyable in English. Playing in front of the audience can be quite hard for a lot of people, but we all know that everybody's playing a role in their own life that nobody knows about. I love playing every role, but maybe an evil lady because she's different from me. <sighs> I get to know the character by reading about him, his history. I think that's how I can play role. Well, that's all of us. <laughs> from a young age, I love watching TV series and movies. Although theater is quite different from cinema, it gives us the same ability to learn new things that we can use in our lives in the future. Thanks to the theater, even as part of the audience, we can enter a new magical world and be part of the difficult but beautiful stories that the character wants to tell us. Being an actor is a really serious challenge. You ask yourself, Will I do well? Am I really good at this? Does this role suit me? And as you ask yourself these questions, the moment comes when you're on the stage under the spotlight and you see so many people in front of you. Acting is definitely not for everyone. Someone will probably say here, with practice, everything is shift. Yes, this is an indisputable fact, but I don't think you can develop anything if you don't carry it within you. I would call it 
an innate talent. The ability to put an imaginary mask on your face, whether you are happy, sad, apathetic or just in love and let no one know about it. Децата са с необикновен интелект. Те имат потребност да покажат на света, че съществуват, чрез различни участия и цяви, да демонстрират своите знания и умения, всеки по свой си начин. An imaginary reality in the world of a dreamer. I'm afraid of the time. It scares me how fast it paces, how I don't feel it. It probably smiles at me, asking me how I am today. Did I forgive myself? Am I still thinking about yesterday? But I can't hear it. The time in me. It just stopped. The world had settled in my soul and the only thing that awakens my senses is the scent of cherry blossoms swaying over the small cottages of the countryside. However, it keeps talking as if hoping to be heard. I'm sitting on a small white bench in the orchard reading a happy love story. When it comes and urges me to go, But I just gaze it, running thousands of thoughts in my mind. And it keeps repeating. How are you today? Have you forgotten? Or are you still avoiding me, Cherry Princess? Music is the art that people are most connected with. The listeners can feel the emotion of the songwriter, which, which really has an impact on their mood and feelings. That's why I think that the music is the most impactful art in the world. I think they support me and when they attend my show, they will make me very happy. I always wanted to be part of a theater community. Theater is something very special to me. Thanks to it, I can play different characters and also look to the eyes of my character. Theater helps us to see a different perspective from our own. In my opinion, it's very really hard to make a dramaturg because it takes a lot of time and effort. Uh, every detail has to be well prepared and right in place because otherwise the dramaturg will not be that good. Uh, we have to appreciate the people who make Dramaturgy, it's, it's not an easy job to do. Theater helped me develop new personal skills and qualities, not only as an actor, but those which are necessary for everyone's personal growth and are a very important part of major success and happiness. Teamwork skills are the most valuable to me because in the theater we all relay and depend on each so that the audience enjoy the overall magic on stage. I love individual sports and my favorite activity is cycling. Fishing is my hobby. I enjoy the peace and harmony of nature. In theater I learn how to regale on others to make things much better. So my advice for the new generation of kids that are going to attend the drama club is to be there. Be there and have as much fun as you can. Do as many friendships as you can. Do what you love dance, sing and everything else because this club can give you so many things They can, uh, it can give you so much experience about uh, acting and performing but also for friendship and communications and uh, it's really a good opportunity for you so do whatever you love do whatever you like be the best version of yourself and have as much fun as you can Because, trust me, it's really enjoyable. My advice is to be yourself, do what you love and have fun.